Hey guys and ghouls, this is Shooter from the Elderly Nerd Crew. And uh, this video here that I'm, you're about to watch is the first of a new series that I thought of. This is a Shooter's Underrated Bands slash and or artists. Oh, what I'm trying to do with this is try to educate you on some bands you may not know about. Or bands that I think are underrated for various reasons. Ah, uh, there might be some people you've heard of. You know, there's one band that I'm gonna plan on doing later. You're going, why in the hell are they on there? But you know, in the scope of things, I feel that they are underrated. And uh, the first one I'm gonna do today is Shooter Jennings, country singer, son of Wayland. So let's roll the intro and let's get this. Dog and Pony Show started. Get this show started. I've got on my shooter stuff. Let's talk. Let's start this off by talking about a little bit about his origins. As you probably all know, he was born in May of 1979 to country music legends Waylon Jennings and Jesse Coulter. Grew up in Nashville, and then according to Wikipedia, in 2001, he left for the bright lights of Los Angeles. Which we all know this is true. He he soon fronted a band called Stargun. I'm late to the party. I don't. I didn't know much about Stargun. I discovered Shooter myself around 2003, four, somewhere around in there, in an article. It was a two-page article on artists to watch, and like on one side was uh, Bo Sevis's daughter, and on the other side was a Shooter. So I got. Got into it. I checked out his first album, Put the Old Back in Country. And so, what you may have heard, if if most people have heard, is uh, the song Fourth of July from Put the Old Back in Country. And also, a song off that track was in the Dukes of Hazard movie with uh, Johnny Knight, Knoxville, and Sean William Scott's Busted in Bailey County. So, you probably heard that song too. And then you probably heard Going to Carolina off his second album electric rodeo so that's about all we can talk about the origins and what you might have heard because those were pretty big songs back when he first started so let's move on to chapter two and get into why let's talk about a little bit about his work and why i feel the shooter is underrated Welcome to part two of this video where we discuss uh, Shooter's work and why I feel he's underrated. First, uh, what we're going to talk about is the first album, Put the Old Back in Country. We've already discussed a couple songs off of this album. Of course, Fourth of July, his first hit, and then Busted in Bailey County, which was featured into the Dukes of Hazard movie. But a lot of this one's got a lot of great songs on it. It's a great debut album. Uh, of course, there's Lonesome Blues, a great song. Then we got uh, Daddy's Farm, which was a badass rocker at the end of it. And, it, and like one of the staples of the '90s was Secret Tracks, and this one has a secret track called "My Song for You," which is a beautiful song that uh, I usually. Uh, Drink a little bit of alcohol and sing to my old lady so I can get some, uh, you know, loving. And uh, other good songs on this one is uh, Sweet Savannah. Uh, also, uh, Southern Comfort's a beautiful song. Just a lot of great songs. So, check it out. It's called Put the Old Back in Country. 
And his second album came out like one year later. It's called Electric Rodeo. It, it of course, had another song we talked about, Gone to Carolina on it, but it also had a bunch of songs, other songs that were great on it as well. Uh, of course, he uses Electric Rodeo as a theme to his uh, Sirius XM radio show that you can hear on Saturdays at 6 p.m. on Outlaw Country Channel 60 on Sirius XM. There you go. Uh, also, uh, the song is still slipping away. is a personal favorite of mine. I love that song. It's an old school country song. Uh, Hair of the Dog is a pretty good song. Manifesto number two, which I failed to mention Manifesto number one off the first album. Very good song. Uh, Aviators is a beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Even, uh, it's a beautiful but yet funny song. One of my favorite shooter songs of all time. And then uh, the song, the album ends with "It Ain't Easy." It's like the video is. You can catch the video on YouTube. It is a very beautiful video uh, about his relationship with his father. I guess uh, it's a great song. So that's another album. The second one. Electric Rodeo was very good, so check that one out too. The Wolf now. I'm a shooter super fan, okay? But let's be honest. Every artist has an album that maybe not be your favorite. And this one for me is The Wolf. You could tell I don't know. I'm not speaking because I haven't heard Shooter ever say this, but you can feel he's probably frustrated with the record label at this point, and it can tell in the quality of the songs on this album. Though, I mean, I do like Tangled Up uh, Roses. It's also got a, a pretty decent cover of uh, Walk of Life by Dire Straits. You can also check that video out on YouTube. Um, and uh, there's a song called... <coughs> Slow Train featuring uh, Oak Ridge Boys. It's very popular in the Rutledge household we love that song and then my personal favorite song on this one is the wolf I believe it kind of sounds like it has helter skelter the music in it I don't know I can't don't quote me on that uh but it was good it's it's a good song on a decent album but not his best but I still recommend it because Shooter's one of my favorite artists and you know but I'm not going to cut him easy because this album could have been easier, but, I mean, I do still enjoy it. I mean, it could have been better, not easier. All right, then the next album we have is Black Ribbons, which is my wife's favorite album, and I enjoy it. This is my second favorite Shooter Jennings album of all time. Now, this is a departure from the country. So, so you old school country fans, you probably won't like this one. And this did alienate, and I've heard him say this personally talking to him in interactions I've seen him in concerts over the years that this album did kind of alienate some fans and I was at the show in Atlanta at uh, the Tabernacle not the Tabernacle but uh, damn it what's the place uh, with the three Masquerade the original Masquerade and uh, I, I, this big old redneck was in the crowd put some goddamn country music and I was like hey dude did you not buy the album he's supporting his album here and it's not country. It is a psychedelic, a psychedelic country rock album, really. Southern rock. It, it's kind of like if Nine Inch Nails, the Almond Brothers, Pink Floyd all had a fuck and had a baby, and it turned out to be a CD album, it would be Hierophant, Shooter Jennings and Hierophant's Black, Al Black Ribbons. So, and it also, a cool little thing about this album, and it has, it's a concept album. And it has uh, Stephen King playing a DJ in it, and this is great. Uh, you can find the story about how all this came together. I'm not going to get into all that uh, because I don't want to get anything wrong because I'm personally am not Shooter Jennings, and I am not Stephen King, so I don't know if the stuff on the internet is true about it. But you can... Uh, for me, the highlights on this album is the title track, Wake Up, is a badass fucking song. Bad fucking ass. Okay, this shit is pretty heavy. Pretty heavy for a country rocker, guy. Uh, 
And of course, you got Triska Dickophobia, Phobia of the Number 13. That's a good song. Uh, Don't Feed the Animals. Basically, I like most of, the, most of these songs on this album. Uh, God Bless Alabama is a beautiful song. Uh, then we have All of This Could Have Been Yours. Now, I failed to mention this. You probably heard this song, too, because it's it has been featured on Sons of Anarchy. I don't know which season because I never really got into that show, but I know that it was on that TV show. All right, and then uh, Lights in the Sky is a pretty good song. Summer of Rage is a pretty badass video on YouTube floating around. I, I believe it's his official YouTube page. It has his daughter in it. It's a good, good video. Really, really fits the album, the video on it. And then uh, The Illuminated, I like that song. I like when the radio goes dead, and then the the album ends with "All of This Could Have Been Yours." And then my wife, of course, her favorite song by Shooter Jennings is "Black Ribbons." Such a beautiful fucking song. It reminds me of a Pink Floyd song, especially at the end with a little. You can hear like I guess I don't know what he was going for, but it sounds kind of like footsteps. You know what I mean? Like a, an army of footsteps. But Hereford. If you like Pink Floyd, if you like Nine Inch Nails, if you like the Allman Brothers, if you like the Beatles concept albums, you will enjoy the fuck out of this album. And I highly, 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 highly recommend it. The next album that he came out with was Family Man. And this is kind of like a... I've heard him say this the, the next two albums that he made, Family Man... And I'll go ahead and mention the other one, The Other Life. It's kind of like the Family Man is like the family... It's like two sides of a coin. Like the family man is all the good stuff in life, you know, the family and all that. And then the other life is probably like, you know, his road life or or anybody's like the dark side that they might have when they go out that front door. And both of these albums are really, really fucking good. Uh, I tend to like the other life just a little bit better because, you know, we all like darkness in our lives. I mean, we don't really like it, but we like the darkness, the dark side. But, like, Family Man has a really good song, Family Man, on it. Uh, and a bunch of other good songs. You need to really check that out. Uh, the last song, Born Again, I really, really love that song. And the beautiful uh, instrumental part at the end of the, of the song. You got uh, all kinds of great songs on there. And then on the other life, you have a bunch of songs you can find videos on on, on YouTube, on his channel. Uh just to you know to you know check him out all right you got uh wild and lonesome which is a beautiful song it was my daughter's emma's favorite song forever was uh wild and lonesome then you got the other life that song's on there and uh the gunslinger which is heavily inspired by stephen king again the dark tower series bad ass song and he often now, I don't know about every concert, but every concert since this album's came out that I've been to from Shooter, uh, he has ended with the Gunslinger. Uh, next album we have is another, like, twofer deal. Uh, one was called uh, For George, uh, Don't Wait Up, for George Jones. And then the second one was Coontach for Giorgio, Giorgio Moroder. Uh, a lot of people... Might not know who Giorgio Moroder was, but he done a lot of soundtracks and stuff in the 80s and uh, synth, uh, a little electronic kind of synth pop kind of stuff. But the uh, Don't Wait Up for George has two original songs. One song that he had written for uh, George Jones, but it turned out some shady deal, like some guy was pretending to be his manager but really wasn't. You can read up more about that on the internet somewhere. But that one was called uh, Don't Wait Up, I'm Playing Possum, which was a great song. Uh, also a great song on here was uh, Living in a Minor Key, the original version of it. Uh, I really, I, I think I've heard Shooter say that his uh, deceased, now deceased, uh, former manager John, the Colonel Hensley, uh, really loved that song. And uh, you can tell this great, beautiful song. And then, of course, he does covers of... She thinks I still care, uh, and the door, the door, 
the his version his cover version of the door of the door sounds nothing like George Jones, and that's not a bad thing. It is a badass song, the door, badass cover, and uh, and all and so this one just is it's just like a five five or six songs on it. I think I believe it's five, two new songs or no three, two or three new songs and uh, three covers. Uh, I think the other cover was "If Drinking Don't Kill Me, Her Memory Will," and then for Coontach for Giorgio, uh, it's kind of a polarizing for many people because it is another departure. Like I said, it's like synth pop from the '80s. I really do enjoy it. I got the pink uh, vinyl of it, limited edition. I really love "From Here to Eternity." It's a great song. Uh, I'm left. You're right. She's gone. Is another great one. Uh, Born to Die was written by uh, now deceased uh, songwriter Steve Young, who's probably most famous for uh, Seven Bridges Road by the Eagles. Uh, Love Kills is another good one, and it's got the he does a version of the Never Ending Story, featuring Brandy Carlisle. The thing from that, and then Cat People, the old David Bowie song from the '80s. Featuring Marilyn Manson, which was a really great collaboration. I really enjoyed that. That's a pretty badass song. And then now, we get to what is probably my favorite uh, Shooter album. It's called Shooter. It's the newest newest one. And uh, it is pretty, pretty much a throwback to old school country. 80s, 90s, 70s country. 70s, 80s, 90s country. Um... Uh, if you haven't seen this, if you have not got this album, you need to go fucking get it. It is pretty much from track list, every song on here I love. Like from Bound to Get Down all the way to the last song. Uh, great fucking songs. Uh, D-R-U-N-K is a favorite of my children, I know. He even gave us a shout out the last time we seen him in the Harley Davidson Atlanta. He just says this goes for the Rutledge girls, D R U N K. So it's kind of a blessing and an embarrassment at the same time that my children they love all these bad songs. But you know, it's not really you know they know they know that they can't get D R U N K. But it's a great song. Uh, my favorite my favorite song is uh, off this album is probably the remaster of a redoing of the. Uh, Living in a minor key. He, he done that song again. It's a little bit slower this time. Uh, Do You Love Texas? A great song on here. Uh, just from song number one to ten, like I said, it's just great. You need to check out this. Uh, it's like Hank Williams Jr. If you love Hank Williams Jr., you're going to love this album. Uh, you really are. And all right, so I basically went through all of his work. Uh, I'm not gonna play any of the songs because I don't want I don't want to do that. I don't want to do the work for you. I want y'all to go check out this guy if you haven't already. Why I feel he's underrated is because let's be honest, today country radio is dominated by pop country and bro country. That bullshit that's played out there. I mean, it's not country. They got the same fucking beat in every fucking song. It's it's pathetic. So that's one reason that he's underrated. And another reason is because anybody who is a, a son or a daughter of a country music legend, they're going to get, people are going to get the wrong idea of you. But let me tell you, I, as much as I love Waylon Jennings and I love Jesse Coulter, they don't hold a candle to, to Shooter in my book because Shooter is a much better songwriter. I mean, he writes 95% of his songs, I would imagine. And it just. And just real stuff. He sings about real stuff that we go through in life. A heartbreak. Uh, drinking too much. Maybe doing a little partying a little too hard. Stuff like that. I mean, just it's just it's awesome. And then uh, he's got a great voice. And I mean, he's out there. He's touring all the time. He's nonstop. He's producing people. He's producing Brandy Carlisle's album. Produced Duff McKagan's album. This is like the hardest man, working man in music out there today. And, I mean, that's why I feel that he's overrated and overshadowed. And uh, I think you guys should really, really check this guy out. And uh, I think this does it all for uh, 
this chapter on to the next phase of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the final chapter of this. We're going to call it my closing statements here. So I've discussed his work and, my, and why I feel he's underrated and all that good stuff. Uh, so right now I'm going to tell you, you need to check out Shooter. He's out on tour now. I think right now he's out on tour with Duff McKagan, basis of uh, Guns N' Roses. And then later on in the year he'll be out on his own. But you ought to go check him out. He doesn't play big stadiums right now. He just plays like smaller clubs and stuff. And so it's very inexpensive. I know here in Atlanta, the tickets are usually around 25 35 bucks. I mean, it's great value. You check it out. One of the best live performances you'll see. You'll get to hear something from every album, usually. Uh, you'll get to hear some covers. He likes to play Good Time. Charlie li uh, likes the blues. I mean, has the blues. Uh, and some Waylon songs. So, I mean, it's a great experience. So, get out there. Check Shooter. Uh, www.shooterjennings.com for tour dates, merch, and all that great stuff. He's uh, on Facebook. He is Shooter Jennings Official. And at Twitter... And Instagram, I believe it is at Shooter Jennings. So just get out there and enjoy it. I mean, if you love old school country, you will enjoy my man. And he has an album, like I said, for just about anything you want. So like Black Ribbons for all you people who like hard rock because it's a great album and uh, and all that. So uh, y'all stay tuned. I'm going to keep doing this series. I'm going to probably put out a video for the one of these every month so the underrated series so i believe the next band i'm going to do excuse me is uh the marshall tucker band so look for that to, to land sometime in the middle of july so so be on the lookout for all that and be on all all kinds of exciting stuff coming from the elderly nerd crew here we got your video game needs covered, your music covered, your mo movies covered, all kinds of nerdy stuff. So I know me, Shooter Rutledge here, and uh, Night Clover and Selminator have you. One of us has you covered. Whatever. So we get, we just, I, me and Night Clover just released an E3 Xbox video, and I released Shooter Rank stuff. The Quentin Tarantino films yesterday. Uh, so just be on the lookout for all that. So if you enjoyed this and other videos like this, give us a like, Elderly Nerd Crew. Uh, subscribe. Share it for your friends if you think they enjoy it too. And uh, y'all just keep coming back, man, because we're, we're having fun doing this. This channel's growing. Uh, we've, we've got quite a few subscribers in a short time we've only had this channel for about two months now and uh we just want to keep growing man we want to make do i enjoy doing this the other two guys enjoy making videos so just stay tuned and as always shoot her out